Professor, just, just finally, are you a presidential candidate of the future? Uh, no, I am not. I'm, I'm, I'm focusing on my university and hope to, uh, to continue in the area of education. But maybe one day. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> because you are being talked about as a future presidential candidate. I want to come back to that in a moment. But, but I also want to ask you about whether Indonesia does face a challenge from a hardline version of Islam. You know, we've spent some time on this program in the last few weeks reporting on uh, things like Islamic vice squads being on the beat in Aceh. Is that a threat to your vision of Indonesia? I don't think it's a threat. I think Indonesia have gone through a process of democracy in which the mainstream uh, Muslims uh, believing on the on the principle of democracy is the is the majority of of, of people and it is the strongest uh, power. However, the presence of free media allowed all ideas to emerge, including uh, Islamist idea. However, if you look at the history of our politics in the past, past 60 years, at the beginning there was uh, a, a period in which identity matters a lot in politics. But today at national politics, identity less matters than it used to be. But at the local level, in which democracy presence only in the past five years after the uh, after the decentralization in which local leaders were directly elect, elected directly by the people that was the beginning right. of local politics and at that time we are seeing identity politics matters but okay. i think in the long run it will uh, decline